I'm Noemi, and in these stressful times, I'm here to share some tips with stay-at-home moms, working moms, and everything in between moms. In this week's Take a Minute, let's talk about money matters. Charles A. Jaff was quoted as saying, It's not your salary that makes you rich, it's your spending habits. As mothers, we all know that making money is always harder than spending it. Here are some tips that may help you to save money. Step 1. Audit your spending. It is helpful to get an overall view of where your money is going. You can use apps or budgeting software that will record, track, and categorize your spending. Sometimes your bank will have such services available to you for free. Once you know where your money is going, you can see where to make changes in your spending. Step 2. Cut out the non-essentials. This can be difficult because we need to know the difference between our wants and our needs. Here are some examples of things you can look into eliminating. Gym or health club memberships and salon visits. Gym memberships can be costly and also unnecessary if you find that you are not fully taking advantage of them by going on a regular basis. Instead, try going to a park for a run on their trails. Also, if you visit the salon several times a month, try to scale that down to only one visit per month. Moving on, negotiate your bills. Certain companies, such as the ones listed below, will have a discounted rate for new members. However, after the introductory period is over, they may increase your rate by up to twice as much. So, try calling the company and asking for any discounts that may be available to you. If they say no, mention that you are shopping around to other providers that can give you better rates. If they still say no, call their bluff. Consider canceling their services altogether and switching to another company. Also, shop online. Online shopping is a great way to be more deliberate and calculated in your spending. With online shopping, you can comparison shop from different online vendors at a glance. Also, online shopping allows for searching for coupons, promotions, and you can even earn rewards if you use their apps. And online shopping also allows for deleting items from your cart. There's no more of that walk of shame from the cash register when you realize you spent too much. There's only a discreet delete button from your cart. All of these things make it easier to stay within your budget. But beware, some experts suggest to wait 48 hours before hitting the buy button. Doing so will solidify if that item is a want or a need. For more information, go to our website at mccallumlibrary.net, type saving money or household budget. This will give you a list of books available for checkout at the McAllen Public Library. And this is Take a Minute. This is Noemi Escamilla with the Palmy Branch Library, asking you to take a minute to take care of yourself so you can take care of your family.